Celebrity gifting is a curious dance. It's a public display of camaraderie, a meticulously curated glimpse into the opulent and sometimes bizarre world of A-listers. But every now and then, a gift exchange exposes a dissonance so profound it sparks a social media maelstrom. Such is the case with Tracy Ellis Ross's recent rejection of Meghan Markle's peculiar present. Ross, an accomplished actress known for her vibrant personality and impeccable fashion sense, took to Instagram to share her bewilderment. The gift, a woven basket overflowing with lemons, not just any lemons, mind you, but a peculiar assortment, some misshapen, others sporting blemishes, and one desiccated husk nestled amongst the vibrant citrus. But wait, there's more. The centerpiece of this unsettling arrangement was a glass jar, overflowing not with glistening marmalade or refreshing lemonade, but with dirt. A single, wilted flower drooped forlornly from the rim, completing the unsettling tableau. Naturally, the internet went into overdrive. Memes proliferated, with social media commentators dissecting Markle's motives with a fervor usually reserved for geopolitical crises. Was it a passive-aggressive dig at Ross's supposedly extravagant lifestyle? a bizarre attempt to promote some new age wellness fad, or simply a tone-deaf display of privilege. The ambiguity fueled the firestorm. Markle's defenders, a dedicated online contingent, were quick to offer justifications. Perhaps it was a basket of heirloom lemons from Markle's own private garden, a symbol of eco-conscious living. Maybe the dirt was some exotic therapeutic mud favored by the Hollywood elite, a claim promptly debunked by gardening experts. Yet, these explanations only served to deepen the sense of oddity. The incident exposes a fascinating fascinating paradox in Markle's public persona. Here's a woman who meticulously curates her image, striving to project an aura of sophistication and philanthropy. Yet, this bizarre gifting choice lays bare a peculiar lack of self-awareness. One can't help but wonder if Markle exists in an echo chamber of yes-men and sycophants, insulated from the realities of social etiquette and the optics of her actions. The most troubling aspect of this gifting debacle is the undercurrent of passive aggression it suggests. A seemingly innocuous gesture, a basket of misshapen lemons and a jar of dirt somehow manages to convey a message of disapproval, of subtle one-upmanship. It's a masterclass in veiled hostility, a weaponized gift that leaves the recipient bewildered and belittled. Tracy Ellis Ross's rejection, while seemingly a minor act, holds a potent symbolism. It's a public refusal to be drawn into the murky waters of Markle's puzzling social game. It's a reminder that celebrity friendships aren't always sunshine and red carpets, sometimes, they harbor unsettling undercurrents. And perhaps most importantly, it serves as a cautionary tale. A seemingly innocent gift can, in the wrong hands, become a potent weapon, a social grenade disguised as a basket of curiously curated